Right into the match. All right, so we've got on the right side, we've got um, Mark Chan, who was uh, the second, no, sorry, one of the quarterfinalists from last week's Destiny Tournament at 401 Games, playing uh, a list. Um, he says he's made a couple of changes to it, but I wanted to put his uh, match on camera just because I just think the deck is just really interesting. Right. It's a variation, of course, of what you've seen, like uh, what is becoming increasingly popular, the FN Uncard deck. Uh, of course, his personal touch is that Royal Guard for. Access to blue cards and also guardian. And uh, looks like on the left we have Jeff, Jeff Asiri, who's playing uh, also a variation of what I've seen becoming more popular, the mono red trooper deck. Um, this is with Elite Phasma, a first order stormtrooper, and a Guavian Enforcer. Yeah, I'm not sure that I've seen a uh, Guavian Enforcer on one of our videos yet, but... No, I don't think so either. I mean, I got a really sweet alt art uh, of a Guavian Enforcer from John's, Starkiller based John. Uh, he does a bunch of alt art stuff. And uh, looks nice, but I haven't, I mean, personally in my deck building, I haven't found a use for it yet. So anyway, they've started the game. Looks like uh, Mark had initiative there, and the two shields went on the first order Stormtrooper on Jeff's side. And there we see Mark's Guardian, Royal Guard, coming into play, removing Captain Phasma's two ranged dice. So just a quick breakdown. We, we don't uh, have deck lists available to us for this tournament. There were no deck lists required, but uh, I do remember enough of Mark's deck from from before uh, to kind of give you a breakdown on it. So uh, one of the big things in Mark's list is that he's playing, of course, Imperial Inspection, as you see. He's also running Confiscation, so it's the full control package. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Roll, he did roll it in, gets the Imperial Inspection off. Nice. Uh, removes that Imperial Discipline from Phasma. And then uh, he's also running two copies of Prized Possession, which is, at least when Palpatine was really popular around here, it was a huge piece of technology against that deck. Uh, I'm not sure if he's taken it out since yeah. then. He also had, I believe he had Crime Lord? Yeah. Because I believe Lord. he did uh, Prized Possession and a Crime Lord on Palpatine that one game. He had a ton of resources. Yeah. Bait and switch. So, I, so again, because we don't have deck lists, I can't... Oh, so, he discarded the card. So, he used yes. Uncard's ability, revealed the bait and switch. Yeah. He gets zero resources because there are no... doesn't cost anything, but he does lose the card. Bait and switch is a great card. I don't think that Jeff's very happy having discarded. Uh, so, Phasma there going to work on Uncard. Makes sense. That's... Uh, Really, one of the strengths of this Uncar FN deck is that uh, you have equal amounts of threat, both from Uncar's ability to just keep rolling dice into the dice pool, from from his ability whenever he plays weapons on him, as well as Uncar um, and his his uh, ability to discard cards, get lots of money. So it's kind of hard to determine as as your as the opponent of that deck what you should be doing first, like who you should go after first. So it triggers Uncar again. Hits a better card this time. Oh, oh you got to discard, discard that card, it. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, it'll remind him. So that's two resources for Unkar. Um, and for sh oh, there, you can see it in the bottom right. There's a stack of three resources. Hunker down. That's a, that's a card I haven't actually seen play in lately. In a while, yeah. It, it does make sense, actually, because... Um, I mean, a lot of the Poe Maz decks, the range damage, right? So, I mean, you're just trying to, like, survive as long as possible against the onslaught of stuff that you're throwing. The challenge is you're, you're trying to go fast. Everything's trying to go so fast yeah. that spending the action for Hunker Down is difficult. Mm -hmm. You really want to try to get out and claim before Poe Maz does. So it, it's tough to have that delay built in unless you know that, unless you're comfortable with your deck going slowly. Right. Um, uh, yeah, I think it's hard to find a spot for. So conclusion of the first turn, we see four damage on Uncar, two damage on the Royal Guard. Uh, I think it's a pretty good turn, turn yeah. one, I think, for uh, for Jeff there. It is. So there's two, dasma, two damage on Phasma, but that uh, doesn't really put her in range. Um, Mark is going so heavy on the resource, or sorry, on the Uncar ability, mm -hmm. he's, uh, he's definitely playing towards the, those prize possessions and, uh, and the Crime Lord. And there you see in Mark's hand also Boundless Ambition, which is, I think, one of the huge reasons why he does play Royal Guard, to yeah. get access to, you know, you keep playing weapons on FN, and then you just right. want to refill your hand afterward. So Jeff, it's just at the bottom of the screen, you can see he played a back F muscle. Uh, and I didn't see what... Uh, that was oh, a friends, friends in low places, places right? yeah. That's why he's discarding the yeah. Electroshock. Oh, so Friends in low places lets you look at your opponent's hand. 
discard an event with that costs one or one less. or zero. Yeah. yeah. So way better than pro. Interesting to see him uh, roll out the trooper first. Uh, I think he'd want the the guardian, but. I think maybe at this point he's just trying to push some damage through. It doesn't really worry too much at all. Well, plus, do you really want a guardian? <laughs> <laughs> yes. You don't want it on Phasma. Uh, but but I, I think he, he, he may be thinking just... that he's going heavy on Ankar here. I'm not worried about damage. I'm well, worried about killing Ankar as quickly as he doesn't have any. Mark doesn't have any money right now, so he wouldn't be able to resolve that. What he's probably going to do is going to use uh, use that die of Ankar's ability I know. to discard and then maybe roll it out again. So that's the uh, Imperial Discipline. Uh, he's using that to turn... So you discard the die to, yeah. to turn one of that character's... Or character or upgrade die yeah. to a ranged or a resource side. Yeah. So it's always nice if you have something you can do with a die that isn't dependent on the side the die is shown. Yeah. So that's Guavian Enforcer activating, uh, using Phasma's ability yeah. to make him a guardian to remove the royal die die. And as More we suspected, yeah, uh, using that flamethrower die makes him discard a DH1 pistol, gets $1. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, just uh, some of our uh, our lighting is kind of leaning over precariously, so Victor's just going to go and uh, fix that up before it falls on someone. All right, so overriding the Vibra Blade with uh, Rybaton. Rolls in two damage, looks like. Um, resolves it on Phasma. He needs to get rid of that vibro die, but I'm sure that'll happen before he rolls it in. Chooses to move a damage from backup muscle to Ankar. So, not a great roll here for FN. Um, Yeah, so re-rolling the uh, right baton, it's a little bit better. Jeff here is trying to decide what he's going to do. Best defense. So, dealing some damage to the Stormtrooper, getting rid of two of the, the bigger die that um, Mark has. Ankar rolls in for a single resource. And finally we have Phasma rolling in. Let's see if we might get enough damage here to uh, finish off Ankar. So yeah, so Victor's back. Didn't miss too much. I hope that thing doesn't fall on his head. Uh, yeah, it's precarious. You might want to just like tape the middles as well. No, the, the one in the front is fine. I'm just thinking the one in, in front of the cafe. Anyway, yeah. uh, well, I don't think it's going to cause any yeah. serious injury. Uses the focus uh, to switch the, the two damage to the other Phasma die. So, takes um, on card to four health remaining. Yeah, this is. I think this is the correct thing to do. I actually, I'm not. I'm not sure too much anymore now that uh, FN has all the weapons on, on him. Like now, it's just a case of overriding. You don't really need that money as much anymore. But yeah, that that ability to strip the cards from your hand well, is just. You just need to get. He still. Get he still wants. Still. He still wants the. Um, the prize possession and the crime lord. So, I don't think it's going to be switching now. Might be a mistake. Well, okay. So he does draw a prize possession. He also draws another baton. The confiscation is what I also see in his hand. Uh, I think Jeff is playing with things smart. I'm not. I, he, he's just been. He's not been playing any uh, upgrades onto any of his characters. So rolls in the die. Does choose not to resolve. Yeah, this is an override with another baton, looks like. Yep. Rolls that into the pool. And of course the good thing about baton okay. is that you get a re-roll off it. You do, you cannot resolve it though. If you if you re-roll it. You cannot if you re-roll it, you the re-roll comes in the goes into the queue yeah. after the um the damage is resolved. In this case, it doesn't matter. He's already resolved. He's already uh, claimed the battlefield. Um, uses Ankar again. Gets rid of the last best defense. 
Yeah, Hunkar's doing doing a lot of work in this game. Uh, looks like Mark's firmly in control here. Vibro knife comes in, plus two damage. Looks like I, I don't know. Does Jeff have no hand left? So gonna get bad in the prize possession. Yeah, Jeff is, has no cards. Prize possession is not. I don't think you play that upgrade against this type of deck. You don't really need to. I don't think. Like against Poe Maz, yeah, you, you lock down a Poe die. Obviously against Vader, same thing. Yeah, Palpatine, same thing. I mean, maybe he's going for some kind of melt. Because like, why, why declare, why use the uncard ability then, if you're really not going to go for prize possession? But you don't need all, all those resources. It, it, there's a lot of health to burn He also down. knew what was in his hand, though, yeah. and knew that there was, he was not going to get any resources, so it was purely right. a discard. So here's a rollout. Of course, it uh, doesn't really matter what you roll with the character with the Imperial Discipline on it. Uh, hmm. But money's still good. There are still better rolls. Yep. Now, that's two damage I see still on the backup muscle, so, so Jeff's going to need a little bit of help if he's going to finish off on car putt with that backup muscle. Yeah. Uh, so for Jeff's first activation, that's uh, rolling out the FN. Maybe trying to see if he can push through those final points of damage to kill Phasma. Uh, he's got a lot of it. Six more damage. It's not going to be an easy task. Well, there's two batons, and I think Mark missed the uh, reroll ability on the second baton. So there's a one quarter potion, removing that die, and then gets a resource for it. Um, yeah, I think Mark missed that opportunity to reroll that second baton die, unless he did roll it again. Nope. And I missed he did, he did. So that he didn't reroll the three. He did reroll yeah. that one to a blank. Oh. Okay, so Mark's trying to decide if he wants to maybe... Nope, I thought he was going to try to replace perhaps the baton. He's going to go for a reroll first. Uh, yeah, still I, pretty bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, still pretty bad. I would be looking to get that hunker down shield on here. Um, just to avoid a situation where we're just able to get five damage out quickly. Okay, here's a rollout, uh, removing that two damage uh, on the FO Trooper with the Guardian ability. Nice two damage unblockable roll there. Well, he doesn't like you in his hand. I'm surprised he uh, used the Guardian ability as his, instead of... Well, there's a flank, get rid of that second baton die. So, uh, overall, Mark hasn't really been able to push through any damage, I think, in this round. Uh, he's going to, yep, overwrite the, the baton. Without, yeah, so overwrite the baton, get a lightsaber in. Oh, there's something. There's four damage unblockable. And Guardian responds by guarding away the Royal Guard die. So now leaving Mark with a, a relatively useless plus two modifier. Takes this opportunity to put another shield on Unkar. Two dice rolling out. A lot of weak rolls this time. Not a lot of great rolls. Not getting that focus side on Phasma. Okay, so there's a <laughs> there's the Imperial Discipline bounced again. Uh, I, I will say though that the uh, I really like the fact that you know it's you can build a three dice three character control list and still have it be effective because usually uh, a lot of the Uncar FN decks try to cram in as many dice on their characters as possible. But uh, Mark seems to be doing pretty well with just three starting dice. Three rolls, does he uh, damage side that he needs? A range damage and there's a focus to a two ranged. Maybe to knock off, maybe to finish off that uh, Royal Guard, but it doesn't matter because he doesn't, he doesn't like, like it, he gets yeah. rid of it. Yeah, might as well get a discarded card because you know that he's probably going to be able to use it for damage. Yeah. So there's another three on Phasma. Phasma's sitting at three health left. Backup muscle going on Unkar, most likely. Maybe I would have done, maybe I would have used that to finish off the Royal Guard between this turn and next turn. But Mark decides he's going to claim now. I, I would have been um, maybe hesitant to use the backup muscle, just thinking that he might claim. Right. Um, this, getting, getting to roll out gives you the ability to finish something off. 
uh, before they get to bring those dice into play. So, well, there there is a lot of guardian in this game. So, absolutely. But if if, uh, if Jeff rolls on two damage, he can guardian away. He still loses the character. True. Ooh, Viber Knucklers. It's a, it's a really good card with FN. It is a great card with FN. Particularly if you have a ton of resources, which he does. Yep. And you do get Three the ambush resources. off it, so that's one discard. Two, because he paid. Two discard, right, because you pay one for it. So yeah, uh, Viber Knucklers, you can pay one to increase the, the number on the die when you resolve it. Let's see if Mark remembers he gets a second action. Okay, that's him missing that ambush. And... Jeff then rolls out. It's two reigns. That's enough to finish the Royal Guard. Now maybe you do roll out the Royal Guard without Guardian to just force him to do something about it? or That's what I would do. Oh. No, instead rolls out a baton. Uh, oh. I, I guess you could potentially finish yeah, so off Asma with the baton. Well, you put, the, yeah. put that on the top of his deck uh, when he starts your premier. Yeah. So he didn't. I, get I think I would have left. I think I would have left uh, the vibro necklers and overwritten the baton. Right. The other baton, you mean? Yeah. I mean, although now you have uh, you have an FN that whose dice is very consistent, but, yeah. but now he's going to roll in place with the rocket launcher, also a consistent uh, source of damage. So that's a three for one uh, side, pays one resource, and there's Phasma finished off. So that was a smart move by, by Mark. So now we see the po power of the FN Uncar late game. Royal Guard has well, so, done its so job. You also you look now. There's three damage on the Guavi and there's one damage on the Stormtrooper. Mm -hmm. um, it feels like there's some opportunity lost in terms of Guardian spinning the damage out a little bit better from Phasma. You, oh, you see, you're saying Jeff could have uh, used so. them more effectively. Yeah. I mean, obviously. Uh, with FN's ability, there's a lot of times where there's nothing he could do about the dice yep. rolls. There's also a lot of times where he rolled the Stormtrooper in first. Right. So there is a potential two damage sitting on the first order Stormtrooper's dice due to Imperial Discipline. Uh, you know, maybe Mark's thinking about even just playing Confiscation to get rid of uh, Imperial Discipline. No. Rolls out FN instead. Here is oh here's a huge roll, at least for the rocket launcher. Okay, yes. And then the reroll on the baton there gets uh, two resources. So lots of modifiers on Jeff's side. Nothing to capitalize on though. And there is a confiscation just to make sure hey you can't you can't do any shenanigans there. Now another thing is I'm, I'm surprised. Uh, Jeff hasn't been using Guavian's ability to remove shields on Uncar. Yeah. You know, instead of just re-rolling. Because you're, you're only gonna, you're banking on a one in six chance to deal, uh, you know, deal more than one damage you're effectively right. versus the action. All right. So Guavian's sitting on uh, three health left. Well, paid off now. Yep. So four damage. So that'll be enough to kill off uh, Uncar eventually. Yeah, between that and the backup. Mode. Exactly. So if Mark doesn't have any control here, of course he could put one more shield on to Uncar. Yep. So now it's not quite enough to finish Uncar off within this turn. But even if Uncar dies, I mean, Uncar's done its job. You still have to deal with a full health, uh, you know, super scary FN. Yeah. I mean, there there is an argument being made now just to start putting it on FN. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to... I think Jeff needs to hope that uh, Mark fades a, a bunch of rolls on his next couple of activations. And I think uh, for Mark, I think you just got to like take it slow and methodical. Reroll as many times as you need to. Uh, you know, Guardian is no longer an issue for you, so... Just try to try to get rid of that yeah. Guavian Enforcer. He, he should be rerolling here. I don't think he should be considering anything else. Oh, he just takes the money instead. I mean, what is this, gearing up for a Crime Lord, perhaps? I don't know about that. So now, uh, Backup Muscle moves the damage onto Uncar Plut. Uncar's sitting on two health left. Why do that? Like, you reroll, you kill the Guavian Enforcer. So 
you're pretty much getting the same ability. The, the only thing I can think of is that that card in Mark's hand is really important for his game plan. So I'm interested no, to it was see what a, it is. It was a, either a Viber Knife or Hold Up Blaster. So. Oh, hold Up Blaster, okay. I mean, it, it is a form of action cheating with FN, so maybe that's why he's holding on to it. That's fine, but you know, he, he discards that, and he's probably going to draw another upgrade. So actually, the funny thing is, now he could actually play the prize possession I saw him just draw <laughs> and blank the Well, he's got a Crime Lord as well. We time do you have? Uh, we've got uh, 13 minutes, so you, you subtract two minutes from your time. Sorry, that was our TO Liz just uh, verifying the time, uh, how much she's got left around. Of course, for our future match, we uh, we have a separate timer going, so what you see on the screen is how much time that those two players have available to them. So, yeah, th I, oh, Viber not clears, okay. So he's just going to chain through a bunch of weapons, and I think maybe after killing the Guadmine Enforcer, he might just go ahead and. Uh, try to lock down that Stormtrooper die. So with the, the extra dollar, he does discard two cards from the Jeff's hand with the Viber Knuckles activation. And Mark, will you remember the ambush? I think he does. Okay, lightsaber. So you can deal at most two damage with the lightsaber. Yeah, unless you get the modifier, in which case doesn't really matter until you roll out FN. Yeah. He's just gonna override it again, anyways. So. Oh, this is what he's doing. He's just gonna wait to see you. Yeah, he's just gonna wait for the stormtrooper to roll, and now he's gonna play a prize possession. I feel. And he has crime lord. Yep. That's just prize possession. Yes. Prize possession, and then all you got to deal with is one Guavian enforcer die, which is mostly modifiers. And no, instead goes for the crime lord. This is this is just this is just finesse now. This is just him trying to <laughs> trying to see if he can kill off the thing if he can do it. Oh, did he back up muscle the damage onto Unkar instead of continuing to work on FF? I didn't notice that last round. Yeah, he moved the damage onto Unkar, so now Unkar has eight damage instead of seven. So if you're just trying to get through Finn, or FN, sorry. Yeah. Oh, that's what he needs. Yeah, he, right, he has some money still. Yeah. Just roll out and uh, start climbing some resources. Well, you're both playing with 15 random cards. Or somebody's going to deck out. Yeah. Or somebody's going to deck out. And it was, it was oh, Travis, what do you think Jeff can do to get out of this? Uh, I think he's I think he's done. Yeah. Just the question is seeing how long he can survive for. So two unblockable damage incoming. What are you doing? What are you doing? What, what is he doing? Oh, I guess it's, I guess again. Yeah. I was thinking, I, I forgot. I was thinking he had eight health. No, no. So, the shield will matter, maybe. Yeah, the Viber Knife is no longer in play. Uh, but three range is going to make that point loot, I think. Okay. And a lot of money. Unless he has some any mitigation here. One more damage. The end of the Enforcer. Yeah, I think he's just trying to figure out if it just makes more sense for him to just maximize the damage output and just deal to the Stormtrooper instead. But it uh, looks like no. It does. Just gonna play it safe. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. There's no reason to hold on to the prize possession. Yeah. Just get roll. And just finish it, right? Like, what's the point? You're just, you're just dragging out your opponent's misery at yeah. this point, I think. Are they using the prize mats? For the stream? No, um, well, you remember Mark, he made it to the top okay. four last uh, last week, so he's got a mat from that. Uh, Jeff, I'm, I'm assuming he's he's won his uh, mat from another store championship in the area. You know, so June is store championship month in the Toronto area. We've we've uh, had quite a few Destiny events, like basically every Sunday, or sorry, every weekend, we've had one store championship somewhere in the Toronto area. So this is the third one, I think. Uh, of course, we at the beginning of the month, we had X-Planet, yes. we had 401 Games last week, we had this one. Uh, Legends Warehouse has one next Saturday. So. All right. Four damage left in that storm. All right. So Mark uh, actually burned through his entire deck. And, you know, some small part of me would like to see some sort of karmic justice from toying with his opponent by <laughs> somehow losing his entire hand and not being able to close out the match. But I don't think that's very likely. Yeah. I don't think this rocket launcher is going to make a ton of difference, but... Is it? Uh, I think it's... Uh, yeah. Okay. Rocket launcher. I mean, it's... 
nothing he rolls here is well actually no that's not true if he, if he rolls out like a two damage side and like a four damage side you can kill on carpet you can kill Finn you can kill Finn is that is that enough to kill Finn for two and two and four six okay. damage yeah yeah but look he's okay okay <laughs> I mean, if you have a, a you have a best defense, I mean, you could use it technically, I guess, to save yourself. Well, actually, no, no, that even even that wouldn't save himself. So, ooh, holdout blaster. He does get an ambush, but that's not enough time. And so there's the handshake, and that makes Mark C the uh, winner of this round, putting him at two. And